All right, so we're talking with Dave Gandy, the founder of Font Awesome, and uh, he's been working lately with the Web Awesome team, and we're going to be chatting about one of the key parts of Web Awesome Pro, which is our Pro Theme Builder. So Dave, uh, I wonder if you could take a minute and talk to us about branding and design systems. Uh, yeah, it's it's funny. We, uh, we make a joke about it uh, in the Kickstarter video, but as a designer, uh, you really are trying to represent the soul of your company, right? Who you are mm -hmm. deep down. Uh, quickly and instantly through your website's look and feel. Um, it's an enormous challenge uh, and solving it can really feel impossible. And even if you can get it, it will take forever. Right, we don't have forever. Yeah, so, um, and, and even if you've got a great style guide or a comprehensive Figma design system to work from, uh, bringing a real functioning design system uh, to life is a tall order and can literally take you hundreds or even thousands of hours to do properly. Okay, so I'm sensing a theme here. Uh, how's Web Awesome Pro going to help with all this? Yeah, so not only does Web Awesome Pro include the our natively supported uh, web components from Web Awesome Free, uh, it includes the Pro Layout Engine and our Pro Pattern Library. Uh, but with the Pro Theme Builder, you can actually get all of those components and patterns to have your own flavor so that you can hit the ground running with something that's uniquely yours. And we're super, super proud of this. So uh, you just plug in your design decisions and the Theme Builder gives you your own custom style sheet. That's it. Uh, and all of Web Awesome will radiate with your brand and your personality, and it does not look like something that you pulled off the shelf. This is really, really key here. Uh, one of the big problems with some of the larger libraries is usually if they're bigger, they're great and they're easier to use, but then everything sort of starts to look the same. And that's one of the real challenges we're trying to solve here. Little generic, yeah. Yeah, so we want to make sure that you can get something that's uniquely yours, that not just can you uh, get a nice system that's going to help you build quickly, but that it can also look completely unique just for you. So no matter where you are in the design process, if you've got a mature style guide or just some branding guidelines, or even maybe just an idea of a little a mark for your logo, um, or even nothing at all, the Web Awesome Pro Theme Builder will meet you where you are and help you get something unique just for your brand. Um, and then you'll actually have all the components and you'll have live documentation of all of your stuff, your patterns, all of this stuff so that you and your team can build better together. A lot of this happens because of the power of web components. Uh, for a long time, it's been a real challenge to actually separate how something works completely from how it looks. Before those have always been intertwined in some way and now we can fully separate them. What that means is just as easily as you can come in and theme this the first time, you can come back in at any time, fiddle with some little tiny piece of this or that you can go and get a completely new brand um, when you're ready for it. And so this really does separate out looks like from works like in a whole new way. Basically what this also means is there's no more massive rebuilds of your website just because you wanna update your colors, your branding icon, that whole look and feel, you don't have to do that anymore. Nice. And I imagine too, that keeps a lot of consistency across the team to where they know exactly what the, like the, the brand colors and the patterns are, and they can always use them. And you don't have to worry about different teams, um, using the wrong thing. Um, and you're keeping this library consistent. Yeah, and this is one of the coolest things. So it's not just that somebody knows the color or knows what the logo looks like, like in a style guide. It's already there. They can already come in, copy and paste just the thing yep. they need, and it's already going to work. That brand button is going to have the brand already. It's got accessibility in mind with those color palettes. It's got all of this stuff baked in. It's super cool. You want to see it? Nice. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's demo right. time. Let's do it. Right. Let's do it. So this is the theme builder. Here at the first... We've got a default theme 
and a whole bunch of other themes that you can start with. So if you don't have much in the way of your theme, start with these, modify from here, and it's a really good way to get up and running quickly. And you can always come back later. Remember, just as easily as you're doing this now, you can come back in later and have a completely different look and feel for your brand. So underneath that theme picker, we have a place where you can set the main parts of your brand. So we've got logo, we've got color, typography, and icons, which is more and more becoming a critical piece of your brand. And then this next part is one I'm super, super excited about. This is the look and feel for your web components. So there are tons of web components in Web Awesome. What this is gonna let you do is theme lots of them all at the same time. So with just these pickers here, you can come in, drag stuff around and get something completely unique for your brand that looks awesome. And if you need to make changes later, no problem. Come back in, make them and run with it. Here we go, let's take a look. So up here we have some great starting themes. And as our Kickstarter uh, does better. We're going to be adding more starting themes to this as well. So I'm going to go and pick one that I'm particularly happy with, and that's the Fawn Awesome theme. Now in here, you saw the buttons change. And actually, you saw most of this change. So our buttons, we love our Fawn Awesome buttons. We love our little punch in, move up and down, have a little bit of life and a little bit of soul to the brand here. And you can scroll down and see in lots of different contexts, those buttons, we've got labels, we've got uh, lots of aspects of this, and we'll go into these in more detail. Fun Awesome, here's the premium theme, something uh, that might look like maybe like a store. We've got something that's really kind of geared towards kids. So this is, you know, this is almost like a little Willy Wonka theme in a way here. Um, we've got lots of other different, very different starting options visually. This is a whole lot like, I don't know how many of you guys are old enough to remember the CSS Zen Garden, but that's exactly what we're going for here, is just by changing your theme, you can get a completely different look and feel to your website. So let's take one of these themes and let's start tweaking around with it a little bit. So I'm gonna go back to the Fawn Awesome theme. This is obviously one of my very favorites. We've, we've put a lot of time into this particular one. We are gonna grab ourselves a logo and we see it showing up right there next to the project name. And you know what this project is? Let's call it Web Awesome. And just in case you don't actually have a logo mark to start with, we've got some pre-populated. These might look a little bit familiar. We just grabbed a few Fawn Awesome icons that we think you might wanna give a shot. So that's logo. We've got color here. And right now, we've got several starting palettes of colors. Uh, when this is ready and when this is done, we prototype this out, but it's not in the theme builder yet. You'll be able to come and select a single color and we'll help you build the rest of it. Uh, but for now, what you can see here is we've got different color palettes here built in. And one of the fun things we can do, I really like that bright color theme. We can also, while we're at it, change our brand color. And we can do some math based on that so that things changing context, see how the buttons are changing, our little brand labels are changing. You can see all this stuff changing in here. I'm gonna keep bright and I'm gonna pick this shade for our color palette. Next is typography. So we've got a great starting point in here of lots of great free and open source typefaces. And you can try these out. When this is fully complete, you'll be able to come in and upload the typefaces that you've got licenses for. You can come in, you can put those in, uh, and we'll get that going for you. Lastly, if you are a Fawn Awesome Pro subscriber, you're gonna have access to Sharp and Classic, and you can actually set this as the default. So let's go ahead and go to Sharp, and let's say we want light in here. And we notice that all of our icons just changed across the whole site. Let's change back to solid. 
Oh, very nice. And lastly, let's take a look at the component look and feel. So in here, let's go with a dotted border style. See, we've got some borders in here that have changed. And another thing we can do in here is we can actually change our border width to get thicker and thicker as we go. And once again, look how this is actually changing many components all at the same time. And that's the idea here is, and this is not a choice you're probably gonna wanna make, but if you do, it's right here. Let's go back to the solid. Um, we can also up our spacing between items. We can uh, change our corners. We can go super rounded on our buttons, or we can actually take it all the way back to square. And so what's happening here is we're not just changing one variable here across, we're actually changing a whole series of them so that these all work cohesively together as you drag these around. And the last one we've got on here that we're showing is depth. And so you can see more depth kind of coming in or different depth coming into these buttons. And we'll have lots more choices here. There really, there really is an amazing amount you can do around depth. And so we'll have more drop points on here to be able to select. And we'll have lots more uh, starting places for these. And as we go, we're gonna keep adding more and more to this so that you'll be able to get really down deep into the nitty gritty of each one of these and have more fine tuned control over all of this. But if we go back up here, this now has a different look and feel than it did when we came in. And that one more thing, night mode is built in to all of your themes by default. And those of you that have made these night mode themes before, these dark mode themes, these are tricky to handle with contrast, with human perception of color and brightness. These are tricky to do and to do well this is one of the things I'm most proud of. It's really, really cool. So we've got lots more planned in here to do, uh, including adding a slider for contrast. So we want you to be able to, just by using a slider, take you down to low contrast all the way up to a high punch contrast. Um, and then the last one that we've been prototyping around with that's really, really cool is animation. So that you can, you can start with none or you can have very little subtle animations, maybe on buttons, maybe on different places in your UI all the way up to something that might be really fun on a kid's website with lots of animation, things bouncing. And we're also using the 14 principles of animation that some of you guys might be familiar with. Um, if you check out Fawn Awesome, check out our animation uh, tools that are built into Fawn Awesome. It turns out those animation styles actually work on all components, not just our icons. So watch out for that. That's gonna be really cool when that gets finished. So again, this is an early look at the Web Awesome Pro Theme Builder. And again, this is just a prototype. We've got lots more coming and we're really excited for you to be able to see just how this goes. So those of you that are interested, we also have a Kickstarter reward that will help you get your brand, your look and feel into your own Web Awesome Pro theme. And we will help you do that. So check that out in the rewards. Um, and yeah, thanks guys for checking it out. All right, Dave, thanks a lot for taking us through that demo. It seems like you guys are really cracking the code on customizability and fast, which is great. Yeah, I mean, that's right. Hopefully getting a design system that's completely and uniquely yours has never been easier. So with Web Awesome Pro, remember that you can theme and re-theme later just as easily without the need to refactor code or uh, any CSS behind the scenes. Um, and uh, you know that your designs are all gonna be based fundamentally on web standards without the bloat of any third-party tooling. Our Web Awesome Pro Theme Builder also helps you no matter where you are in the design process, all the way from you've got nothing to you've got a great full designs, visual design system in Figma, we can help you turn that into a reality and get something completely unique. So if you're starting with nothing, we've got these curated themes that can be a great starting point to help you get going. Uh, you can come in and customize logo, typography, uh, and color palette. This one's really, really tough to do right technically. Uh, that perceptual color that is WCAG compliant, hits all of the right contrast ratios, um, is challenging. And that's a big piece of what we're solving here too. Uh, you've got icons that you can choose. And don't forget that our component themer uh, is gonna give you knobs and controls so that you can easily theme 
all of the Web Awesome components so that you can get something broad and consistent so you've got a great set of tools to work with when you're building a site. So, and the great thing about this too, with the design system is that you're gonna have consistency across an entire team. You're not gonna have to worry about uh, making sure that you're using the right bits and components. Uh, you're always gonna be choosing the right thing and everybody's gonna be on the same page. That's right, your whole team can stay synced up with the look and feel. Uh, and when design decides it's time for a retheme, they can come in, put that in, and development is just gonna be able to pull that down, start working with it, and they already know how to do that. And also keep in mind that we also provide you complete custom documentation so that your theme is what you see in the docs. All of these tools help your teams work better together. And keep in mind that we're just getting started with this here. We've got more tools and extras, so don't forget to check out our Kickstarter stretch goals. Um, but there's more that we wanna do, and we're really excited to see where this thing goes. That all sounds amazing, Dave. So you guys know what to do at this point. You can help us by backing the Web Awesome Kickstarter, and now we all can do something awesome together. Web Awesome, go be something awesome.